everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. We are here in the beautiful foothills of Gallenberg, Tennessee. And we're going to explore and see what is new because it's almost been a year since we've been here. We're also going to take you to a few of my favorite places that I love to eat. I hope one of them is open because it's always like an open and closed kind of personal hours, snowboard hours. But it's warm here so maybe they're here. I hope it's open so that I can show it to you. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to show you some gems of Gatlinburg. Come along with us as we explore. First up, we're heading inside of the Cheese Cupboard. Check out the Hofbrau House restaurant. This is really a hidden gem here in Gatlinburg within the village. If you're gonna come here, you definitely need to make plans to stop at this restaurant. Yes, I took you there many years ago and we come back year after year. I dream about this place. Oh, it's so good. It is a hidden gem. It's very small, Yeah. very small. It's like, where, you know, like when you go on vacation, you wanna be like, where are the local places that are amazing that nobody knows about, but yeah. they have the most outstanding food. This is one of them. It is a sandwich shop, but awesome. they have huge pretzels with beer cheese and a great mustard like a german mustard yeah. and then they also have a great horseradish and the sandwiches are steamed Ooh, steamy. they're reasonably priced because they're very big sandwiches but they're like anywhere from twelve dollars eight whatever you choose but and it takes a while yeah. i will say it takes about like 30 minutes to get a sandwich but there's reasonings behind it yeah. because they thinly shave that meat to sheer deliciousness everything's made to order everything's made to oh, order so the good. cheese is actually melted there so you. gooey you order a so pretzel gooey. it's heated up so it's delicious it's yeah. on a little rack and they're like as big as your face i mean it's absolutely amazing they you can tell how much we like this place <laughs> and they keep it fresh now again the hours you need to look on the village website because yep. i think they're like snowbirds because they're like yeah. halfway open and they're yeah. not open but from june to october it's 10 to 10. yeah it's pretty long yeah and the restaurant when you walk in it's like up these stairs i promise you you're not going to get murdered or anything <laughs> It looks like it. Like, where are they it's, sending it's us? It's a hole in There's the wall. A it's a upstairs. very small shop. Yeah. Yes, but once you get upstairs, the theming of this again is so. It's yeah. dark. It's German. It's like a little Bavarian yeah. chalet kind oh, of thing. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Exactly it's cash here. only. It's cash only. Oh, cash so only. make sure you bring some cash with you. So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And there's not an elevator if no. you can't do stairs. No elevator. I'm sorry, but you could order it and then get it to go maybe. But I find the funny thing is that this place was. Uh, it opened in 1969. Yeah. So I guess that means peace, love, and Rubens. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I know that was cheesy. <laughs> that was cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this little gym was open. They have all kinds of steam sandwiches and oh, their sheer deliciousness. And as you can see, there's several different types of sandwiches. They're served with just chips and a pickle. They keep it classic, they keep it fresh, and it is so good. Ooh, my favorite is actually the ham and cheese, so I'm gonna go with that. Tell me where the sandwiches are. The lighting in here is pretty intense. Yeah, it's like I'm interrogating. <laughs> it's like Take a the sauce on the side. Where do you hide the German sandwiches? Give me the steam best Reuben. Sandwiches. What do you steam up? What no. do you get your on? I'm gonna actually get the Reuben. I'm excited to try the Reuben. So it's on pumpernickel. It's got all the good fixings that you want. They have actually sold it here for over 51 years. So this Reuben is the sandwich to get if you come here. 51 year old sandwich. Oh wow. Look at this sheer deliciousness. Could you share one? Yes. Do you have to share one? No. This is the infamous horseradish chop. They actually used to keep it on the table, but you know, COVID things happen. They also have an amazing spicy mix. This horseradish is so amazing. I don't know how they make it, what they do, but it's so good. I gotta put that on the sandwich first. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, little, little goes a long way. If you look close, I'm putting it in the investigation area. The ham is sliced like very thinly. There's a lot of it. You have that delicious melted cheese. This is the cheese cupboard, of course. So it's delicious. 
it's sweet ham. It's not like too salty, but it's not like overly sweet. It's just simply amazing. Five out of five. Absolutely love it. Look at that. It's incredible. So they actually like slice this by hand while you wait. So none of this is like pre-cut. Everything is sliced to order. Oh my goodness, it's steamed, it's hot, it's delicious. You can smell the sauerkraut in here. Look at the ooey gooey Swiss cheese pouring out. Look at that, look at that. It's got Thousand Island on there, like a proper Reuben shit. It's so tasty. The sauerkraut was cooked perfectly. It's ooey, it's gooey. It's everything you want out of a Reuben. This is the hidden gem of Gatlinburg. Hidden gem of Reubens. You have to come here and get this. This is a five out of five. It's only like twelve dollars too. You can't beat that. Fantastic deal. Lots of food. You will not leave here hungry. Making our way outside of the Hofbrau House restaurant. It no. never fails. No. It never ceases to amaze. I dream about those Reuben sandwiches. They are so good. Okay. Th this is like one of the Steam. best sandwiches in all of Gatlinburg. Yes, it's Steam so to good. perfection. So oh amazing. Gosh. And Oof. I really don't have room for it. No. But I cannot come here because we're not locals anymore. No. So it's not no. like I could swing up here and get it. I gotta get it while I can get it. And we're gonna head over. It's literally right next door. Yeah. It's the Long Walk Fryer. <laughs> yes. These are two of my favorite places in Gatlinburg, especially like here in the villages. If you've never been into the villages, it's associated like little shops that are hiking, food, camping. Candles, a little it's bit of really everything. cute and it's it's a, so adorable yes themed yeah. amazingly definitely check it out throughout the seasons because yeah. they it's, decorate it's, it as well like we said it's kind of like this German Bavarian sort of yeah. chalet feel like you're in an Alpine yeah. village yeah. Okay. it's just awesome but the thing we like about the donut fryer is that it's open early so you can get here at like 5 a.m. so if you're looking for breakfast I know you're on vacation who cares eat a donut it's eat good it. it's delicious and then you go next door and you have a delicious sandwich at the at the Hofbrau House. It's just awesome. And but, these are made freshly as well. Yeah, everything's so made fresh here. And yeah. it's a family-owned bit. Both of these family-owned businesses, mm -hmm. not chains. Great places to come and check out and support. So we're gonna head into the donut fryer because you gotta see these donuts, whether it's dessert or breakfast. My goodness, folks. Oh my gosh, oh, the smell, cinnamon, delectable, delightful, I don't know what it is, but again, cash only, keep it a real, but they do have an ATM. The smell in here is so incredible. It smells like cinnamon. It just fills every nook and cranny of this place. Oh my goodness, and the donuts look fantastic. They also have cinnamon bread here too, which reminds me of Dollywood. And I actually asked, and they said that's one of their best sellers. But I think we're gonna try something a little bit different, like the cinnamon twist, which is a little bit different than the Dollywood bread, because they said that's like their number one seller. So let's see, let's check one of those out and maybe get something else, because I mean, oh, you just have to try these donuts. They are so delicious. Beautiful fountains and dodos all around. Oh yeah. With the cinnamon twist. Supposed this to be their number one. Number one seller. Next to this bad boy. He's so ugly, they always are. This is their fryer special. It's supposed to be a smiley face. Like, we'll just take that off. <laughs> I used to come and get, well, I had a, my best friend used to work here. Yep. And I would love it. She'd bring me these occasionally. Yep. And I would love her for it. They're absolutely amazing and I'll show you. Cause it's just pure sugar. Cheers. Go to cheers. Go to cheers. Cheers. Oh, look at the inside. Coming, coming from the north, we had a lot of like cider mm -hmm. donuts. Oh yeah, let me just hang out. Yeah. This is like, this ranks up there. Some oh. of the best cider donuts I've ever had. Oh yeah. Ah. Five out of five, all around. Donut fire. You the village. That. Oh. I got you there. It's messy, but it's delicious. It's messy. It's just delicious. It's sugary. It's everything you want out of a donut. They're fresh. Can't say it enough. Yeah. Five out of five. <laughs> Star Man Award goes to Donut Fryer, Off Brow House Restaurant. They in the villages. I love this area. I love this place. You just gotta, yeah. you just gotta love the villages in Gallagher. There's no place <laughs> like it. All right, I just made the super donut, vanilla frosting from the Fryer Special with the cinnamon twist. Oh my gosh. 
I, I just may not leave. I don't think I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna go back to Florida. I'm just gonna sit here and we eat donuts all day long. All right, as we leave the villages, there are two more like hot stops that you should definitely try out if you can. The Pancake Pantry behind me, which is a good breakfast, but they also have some really different and amazing like burgers that you could try out. You'll have to look up their menu for sure and see if you like it. And then the other one is like the infamous stop, the Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. Just go in and check it out. You have that good salty taffy that's famous here in Gatlinburg. You can grab you a box or an apple. Oh, so much delicious things to check out. So all the candy here is made by hand in the kitchens, which you can actually watch, which I think is a, such a fun thing while you're on vacation. You can either watch from indoors or outdoors, so there's multiple viewing angles all around the kitchen itself. So you can see where your taffy's coming from, your chocolates, it's just so much fun to be able to check out this stuff. You like want an assortment box, they have these little ones, they're like about $10. And you get to see what's in here in just a minute. But we used to get these as a kid, we're so excited. Like for special little holidays, we're like, oh, what we get in our box? We were so excited. I can't believe they actually still have them. I mean, like, identical. Look just like this. It shows how old she is. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but here's what actually they have inside the box. So you get gummy bears, you get saltwater taffy, they have raw candy. I think it's like just about everything that little kids are going to love. It's pure sugar. But hey, you're on vacation. Who cares? This is what they're known for. The saltwater taffy. That's the thing you got to try. You come here, get the taffy. It's so good. And they have tons of different flavors, too. And I'm not even like the biggest taffy fan. This is some good stuff. So I was fortunate enough, I got a sample. I'm gonna try out the vanilla. I asked Leslie, what, what's the best flavor do you think? The Mr. Candy Maker. He said, vanilla. So I got vanilla. You can tell it's very, as you're chewing, like how you bit into it and you get and lose a tooth. That's a cool thing. It's like soft and chewy. It's so soft. It's but so. But in a good way. <sighs> like not like break your teeth, like yeah. melt in your mouth. Like I don't feel like if you have dental work done, it's gonna pull it out. Like usually taffy can be that bad. This is like creamy, it's sticky, it's good, it's everything you want, minus the hardness. This is like some of the best taffy I've ever had. And I used to get taffy out in North Shore in Rockport, in Massachusetts, and that there's a place called T uh, Tufts, and they used to make candy. I thought that place was the best. I don't know, this is pretty darn good. Vanilla taffy here at the Candy Kitchen. Mm, five out of five, gotta love it. Fantastic. So of course we couldn't leave the candy kitchen without getting a little bit of candy. Yes. So they have some taffy that's sour flavored. So yeah. I definitely had to try those out. It's like a dollar fifty for these little ones, which I thought it's was a great bad. deal. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't want to carry a big box around, so they also have like little assortments yeah. as well. I might come back for a bigger box later, but for right now. And they were really good about samples. So if you saw one, yeah. you're like, oh, I don't know about that flavor, just ask them. They were really nice about it. Yeah. And they told us in the afternoons they actually make like moon moonshine flavored oh, yeah. taffy. That sounds wild. There's so much moonshine here now, and then it, like now it's in candy. It's I tell you, <laughs> yes. And they offer so much flavor assortment as well. Yeah. So if you you can buy them like pre-assorted, or you can customize and make your own box of taffy, because some of those flavors might not appeal to you. And that's sometimes like a yeah. nice gift to bring home to folks. It's just it something is. a little bit different and kind of unique here to Gatlinburg. Yeah. It's a nice memento. But I think now we have to keep moving on. So we we're going to check out a few more spots here in Gatlinburg today. Let's go explore. So up next, we're going to be stopping into the Mountain Mall, which this is an absolute must when you're here in Gatlinburg. It's one of the first things you're going to see entering into the strip, downtown Gatlinburg. There's a little bit of everything in here. So for tourists, if you want like t-shirts, even like a bottle of hot sauce from Pepper Palace to take home, they got you covered. There's even some like obscure places that you just wouldn't expect to find here, like the Tobacconist. They make, uh, they make their own tobacco there. They actually have like vintage smoking pipes that are just really fascinating to look at. They're little works of art. Just cool stuff like that. Let's go in here and check this out. Quick stop here at the Mountain Mall in Gatlinburg. It's kind of towards the end next to the aquarium. It's an inside mall, so if it's raining or if it's very hot or we're actually very snowy, it's kind of a fun place to visit. As a local, we didn't really come here a lot because a lot of the shops here are more for tourists, like the Pepper Palace, t-shirts for Gatlinburg, maybe some shops and things. But they kind of updated them over the years, so now they sell all leather goods, uh, sporting shops, and things like such. I will say uh, for architectural features, this is the craziest mall I've ever seen, but I love it. I love the details that they put into it. Um, FYI, there are escalators 
and there are elevators. You do not have to climb all those flights of steps, okay? Just look for them. But going down, you'll have to go elevator or the stairs down. But just so you don't like kill yourself going up, there are two options. But let's go ahead and I just wanna show you some of the fun architectural features that this mall does offer that you may just wanna come in and look at. to the uh, Gatlin Burger, which is a, a tobacconist. This is something you don't really see around too often anymore. I always love to check out the antique pipes. They have things here from like uh, Dunhill and even Nording, and they have some specialty custom pipes, which are really fascinating. And just seeing like somebody by hand mix tobacco for, for like, you know, pipe use. It's just, it's kind of cool. And the smell in there, like, it, it's just amazing. And it's just all the collectibles. We just love checking this kind of stuff out. Hi, this is Gallenberg 1969. This is where you like enter Gallenberg and you can take the split, takes you down by the river. Um, this is like where the aquarium would be. This is uh, where we're at actually. We're in the mall that they have there. But like, look at the difference. No space needle. Look at the mountains, no cabins. We have Time Warp. Now we're looking at Gellenberg 2002. Again, this is like where you come in. This is the, the mall, which we're out, the River Street. Now the aquarium is there. Look how much has been added. Just in 2002, from that time difference. I would love to see an updated photo of this today. Like, what does it look like now? 2022. So they also create these very fun water wheels. There's one on this side, but on the other side of the mall, it stretches all floors of the mall, which is kind of from A through F. It's a really, like I said, even if you're not interested in the shops maybe that are in here, come and check out the mall itself. Something new I'm noticing right here on the strip that finally opened up is the Guy Fieri Chicken Guy location. I have to say I love this spot much better than the one in Disney Springs. There's lots of indoor seating here, which is what I know Disney Springs Chicken Guy absolutely needed. So this is going to have to be a place we come back and check out. Right next door is an arcade with tons of brand new games, lots of the favorites, some new games I've never even heard of before. So I think this is like a really cool spot on a hot day to go in, play some arcade games, get some chicken guy. Just looks awesome. I think the biggest thing I'm taking away from today is just how much Gatlinburg is changing and growing and improving. There's so much stuff going on here. Been away for like a year since we've moved to Orlando and it's just wild. There's so many new locations, places to eat, candy stores, parking's getting crazy. I mean, it always kind of was, but still, like, just so much going on here in Gatlinburg. Can't believe it. I even see they're bringing in like a new exotic car experience. So the uh, the tone, everything Gallenberg is definitely changing. It's definitely changing. Lots of places to go sample moonshine and wine. Like that was like that before there's even more, which is just, this is, this place is a lot of fun, man. There's a lot of stuff to do here in a very short little strip of land. They love the samples. They're here for the free samples. Do you have a sample? No, I don't. Really? Look it up in the grill. Do you have a sample? No. No, he doesn't. Next up, we are stopping into Sugarland's Distillery. It says it's the number one thing to do in all of Gatlinburg. So they say. But anyway, there's a story in every jar. We'll see what kind of stories they are. Things I'm noticing now at Sugarlands is that they're featuring a lot of the celebrities, if you could say that, from the Moonshine's t uh, Moonshiners TV show. Here we have Mark Rogers, American Peach. There's also Tickle too. So if you guys have ever watched the show, you'll definitely probably know some of these faces. It's uh, it's pretty neat. Oh, we have Uncle, we have Jim Tom's, Jim Tom's signature. We used to watch the show, so it's kind of funny now to like see how much the Moonshine boom is really going on here in Gatlinburg. 
it's all these people because they're not they're, they're they're from pretty close by they're from in like kentucky east tennessee mountains area so it's very suiting to see all the stuff in here it's a lot of fun it smells very boozy <laughs> lots of things have definitely changed here in gatlinburg you used to uh, be able to go and try a lot of this stuff for free it's like free samples of moonshine and i know quite a few places got in trouble for that because i think folks were really really taking some liberties so now the majority of these locations do charge for sampling so here at sugarlands it's five dollars you show them your id and you can go do the moonshine sampling but it, like I, I can't say it enough there's so many of these places and lots have come and gone and you can tell like where other locations even have been bought out uh, just down the road used to be davy crockett's moonshine that got bought out and i think now it's uh old smoky mountain moonshine so sugarlands and old smoky are the big big players here in gallenberg still and definitely you step inside these buildings and they totally totally show that i mean they have lots of merchandise huge collections of moonshine of all different flavors people are packing in here it's it's these little things are a lot of fun so these are some kind of fun additions i've just spotted is they call it sipping cream so it looks like you add it to your coffee they're like different liqueurs this one right here is a dark chocolate they also have like a, an orange flavor man these things they look pretty good i have to say like these lines have definitely gotten way more extensive so if you want a little bit of something special in your coffee you don't have to get the white lightning anymore they have they have specialty liqueurs this one may be really awesome i just found three like kind of unique flavors one is peanut butter jelly another one is blueberry muffin and maple bacon i don't know what do you think maple bacon or peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and jelly may actually be really tasty I think I think the blueberry muffin. Uh, that's that's probably which one I would go with. I think I may have just found like the most Florida version of moonshine they have here. So they, they now have a Sugarlands Shine Pina Colada. This this one might have to make it back in the suitcase to Florida. I mean, look at the graphic on there too. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. The little coconut in the beach. This does sound pretty good on a hot day. So real talk here, as Chine would say. After living in Tennessee, this is not real moonshine. This is properly regulated. It's very good. You're not going to keel over or go blind. You can feel safe drinking this stuff. But I will say, if I was if I was to let you know like what my favorite moonshine is that I've I've ever tried, not specific just the sugar lens, but apple pie, apple pie moonshine. Oh my gosh, there really is nothing like it. It's the best moonshine. I don't care what anybody says. The flavor, it's it's dessert and fun in a bottle. I just found this in the gift shop here, so if you're not into drinking, I mean, obviously, there's like plenty of things to look at in the store. They have t-shirts, they have lots of merchandise. But this is like a really cool thing, I think, to take home. To remember your trip here to Gatlinburg. Of course, we are surrounded by the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Lots of trails, lots of day hikes, lots of fun to be had for free up in the mountains. And this is a really cool way to remember them. Like, these are what the actual trail signs would look like. So if you go to Elkmont or Tremont, you're going to see these signs. They also have, like, the actual trail signs. So this is what you'll see along the trail, letting you know, like, how far you are from the trail of choice. But it's a fun way to think, like, think back of your, uh, your vacation. I mean, they look exactly like the park signs. I, I think this is so cool. Another brand new addition here at Sugarlands is they have a bar area out back at the stage. So there's actually musical performances here, and you can come out, get yourself a cocktail to enjoy. You don't have to just do the samples. So if you love what you drank, you can come back here. They'll make you a cocktail using Sugarlands uh, moonshine or even liquor. This place has it all. I mean, you can come just here. Just, just come to Sugarlands. You don't even have to leave. It's just another fun thing that you can do here is actually take a distillery tour. If you've never done one before, you absolutely have to. There are tons of fun. It's free, and you can see how all the moonshine's made. So you can go. You can see how they make everything. Come out, have a sample, see which ones you like. Go in the back, have a cocktail, take some home with you. It's just fantastic. Well, everyone, I think that does it from a very fun day here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Gatlinburg is always a fun time, and. Yeah. We haven't even gone that long, and I feel like so much has changed. It's crazy. It's ever evolving and growing. So There's much going on. New, new stores, new food, new yeah. merch. Definitely a place you want to come and check out. And then look at the scenery behind you. The yeah. beautiful mountains to take all it in. Uh, oh yes. So just, much to do, so little time. So grateful. And we enjoyed <laughs> meeting so many new people today too. Yes, we did. It's been it a so blast. Nice. Definitely, if you guys like the video, hit like and subscribe. And as always, till next time, friends. Bye. Bye.